Hello and welcome back friends. In this video, we will look at two activities within Automation Studio. One is the wait activity and the other one is the verification activity. Whenever you want to like introduce a delay between uh, any two of your activities in your automation workflow, you can use the wait activity here. So let's say I want to introduce a delay between the SQL query activity here and the send email. I can pull in this wait activity and then configure it. So it gives me two options. One, I can actually uh, use a, a duration, uh, wait by duration, which is like either in minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or years. I can specify the quantity here or a specific time, like from now uh, in the next 24 hours, what's the specific time that I wanted to uh, run. Um, and then I can choose the time zone as well. So there's, there's two different options which I can actually use to configure this wait activity. There's another interesting activity as well, which is known as the verification activity. Okay, so let me pull that in. Um, so this one um, you would probably use for any validation that you want to uh, run on a data extension in your automation. So let's take the use case where I have a, a specific file that's getting imported every night into a data extension and then I'm doing some segmentation. And, um, and, and uh, we have a send email activity that actually uh, would use that segmented data extension to send the data out, okay? Now, uh, if for some reason, uh, when the segmentation happens and, and there was some error because of the file that got imported uh, had some error from an external system, uh, you wouldn't want to like, you know, send out emails to a large number of subscribers, which you haven't expected, right? For example, if you were expecting maybe not more than 1,000 uh, records or customers uh, data to be coming in as part of the import and then segmentation as well and for some reason like you know the file was like you know had some some issue and then there was like a large number of records probably like hundred thousand or maybe five hundred thousand records came in uh, because of some date issue or data issue right you never know like id systems you can always come across these issues so if you want to like you know set some validation that you know to notify you based on the count then you can use the verification activity so in the verification activity, uh, you can if you leave this as default, it will only show you the data extension that's already configured in your data extension. But for this purpose, since I haven't configured it, let me go ahead and click all. And if I select a data extension, for instance, if I click on, let's say, the abandoned cart audience, okay, or let's let's use the customer one. Okay, the customer one here. Uh, and so right now it has like 114 records like you know so after uh, segmentation it shows 114 but uh, let's say like you know if I want to like set a limit like which I think I know based on the data that's coming in I never expect that data to go more than probably thousand right in which case I will say if the condition is uh, uh, is greater than thousand okay if it is greater than thousand I want this particular uh, verification activity to trigger a couple of things one I want it to please stop the automation and send email notification to me as well right so I can e choose either one of the two or I can choose both as well so sometimes you just want a warning so in which case you don't want it to stop but it just let you know hey by the way we noticed some unusual activity where we had a large number of uh, you know records being processed today so if you want to take a look at it and uh, not stop the automation you can just configure it as a send email notification but if you think like no I don't want emails to go out like unless I, I verify and validate it then you, you can use the stop automation option as well and then you can provide your email address and a specific custom note from this particular um, uh, automation workflow so you know where to look at right so this is very useful like you know when you think like if you want to put a, a validation in place uh, for like any nightly processing or anything that which will actually uh, process a large number of records uh, which you think like you know, may cause a risk if it sends out a large number of emails to uh, to subscribers okay so hopefully this was useful thank you for watching